I grew up on the east side of Wilmington in a community surrounded by people of encouragement and families, friends and loved ones, church families, churches, community, and most of all, the Warner Street Y, which I want to get a shout out for. Because of that support of community, I grew up to be such a woman that is within herself being able to find that black joy that they talked about this month. It is wonderful to be that person. My Black Joy moment is about providing service. I get the most joy out of giving service to others. So, and, and the way in which I do that is by educating students, enlightening families, and empowering communities by helping them understand their rights, roles, and responsibilities to be actively involved in children's education. What brings me joy is my family, just family. Being around family, it's always a good time, even when there's drama. <laughs> so, my Black Joy moment would be uh, Shea Cantor Diop, uh, Marcus Garvey, uh, Malcolm X, uh, Sonny Carson, um, you know, I heard the list goes on and on, uh, Dr. Ben, um, and of course, uh, family, uh, the melanin in my skin um, gives me joy for being black. Yeah. I share. I share. My black joy moment would be May of 2013 when I graduated from Temple University. Uh, I was a non-traditional student. I had both of my children while I was going through Temple. And so to walk out onto that stage and see my children and my husband and my family in the audience, I barely made it to the stage without crying. But that was my black joy moment because my kids were able to see um, you know, excellence and that mommy didn't quit even though I had them throughout of college. It's actually the 50th anniversary of New Freedom Theater. And I'm really proud um, of the accomplishments of the black arts movement, and particularly here in Philadelphia, all the many black artists who have benefited and come through Freedom Theater, including most recently, Tony Award winner Leslie Odom, who is one of our uh, students for Hamilton. Um, I think it's really important as we look at the world today to use the arts to remind us of our humanity. And New Freedom Theater is where I got my, my big start. I uh, got my union card there over 15 years ago. And so full circle journey, and now I'm the artistic director. So that is my black joy moment, that uh, the arts continue to enrich Philadelphia and continue to tell the truths of people who have been historically bypassed and hopefully get us all to higher ground. My joy is waiting 40 years to fulfill a dream because a dream delayed is not a dream deferred. And at this age, almost 70, I have a chance to be a true artist. And that's my black dream. Back in the day, I was told that you go to school so you can get a degree in something that can help support your family. But now I have supported and supported and supported, and the grandchild has graduated college. And now it's my time. And even though that doesn't seem like a typical black joy, it's my joy. Because I knew back then that I would never be able to support family and relatives and all if I had a degree in art. So that is my joy. It actually happened when I visited Philadelphia for the first time during the Million Woman March. And as a New Yorker, um, an upstate New Yorker, I was going to college in a town where there were very few black people. And even in New York in general, people tend to be pretty mixed up all over the place. So to see that concentration of people of color and women of color in particular in one place was amazing to me and I almost felt like I instantly knew who I was I had like an identity moment um, I asked to stand on one of my uh, classmates shoulders and I could see black women as far as the eye could see and the message at the event was just so positive and so a few years later I moved to Philadelphia I've been here for 10 years um, and started my own uh, company here and have been helping that same community uh, start nonprofit organizations and small businesses. My Black Joy moment, I think, came when my family moved here to America, and it was just the beginning. I, I didn't really realize it because I was so, so young, but my, parent, my mom won the refugee lottery and brought her entire family to the States. And when I was here, I noticed that, you know, 
we we were really poor because I couldn't get the things that my friends had. But the one thing my mom would always preach is education. And through that route, through that education and following that, I was able to get you know, a full academic scholarship to college. And that was really big for me because coming here as a refugee with everything that's happening recently um, in the news, there's a lot said that, you know, we also contribute when we're here, right? We also are able to add value and getting that full scholarship was, you know, one of the best moments of my life and, you know, my mom's life and my, my siblings. So I, I would say that was the first uh, moment of like black joy where I felt happy and proud to be who I was and where I was coming from. The best way I can say it is just kind of bringing up all those little instances. So for example, um, going to an event and seeing another black female and not knowing her, but all of a sudden exchanging stories about how we get our coils to show out more in our hair, or walking down the street and seeing another brother and him saying good good morning and you just reply with a hey good morning nice you know and you just keep going about your business um, or watching Obama give any type of speech <laughs> that gives me a lot of joy watching Denzel Washington give a speech a lot of joy seeing Viola Davis just rock it in each and every single way going to warm daddies and watching the band play a Michael Jackson song, them singing, ripping it on the guitar while eating cornbread. <laughs> um, those are all the things that first come to mind when I think of joy. I think for me, there are so many black joy moments in my life. Um, one of them is when I worked uh, in the school district and help young people find their way or being there for them outside of the classrooms. Another black joy moment for me and continue to be is to encourage young black people and particularly young black women to know that the world is theirs and they must work hard to not allow a, the greater society who perpetuates racism to define who they are. It's the little moments, you know, sprung together. It's my husband, my three children, their laughter, practicing medicine on most days. And, you know, what makes black joy special is you know it's like hearing the beat of the drum and getting that special genetic feeling of fun you know that sort of you know parades through your nerves I think that that's black joy and hair because I love my hair <laughs> black joy is black hair <laughs> and that's what's you know joy to me well we'll go together we are sisters in our relationship with Jesus yes. and so we get black joy from our friendship we get joy from our relationship with Jesus. Yes. And we care and love for our church, which is Epiphany mm -hmm. Fellowship. Yes. And I don't know, we're just feeling joy. Sundays is an amazing time of worship mm -hmm. that we both. Anyway, we've just been buddies for a long time and we get joy out of our friendship. Um, I get black joy from a lot, um, from just the hope of the community where our church is and um, the things that we're going to be doing in that community to help people who, you know, are hopeless. Um, I get black joy from um, my children. I have three daughters, uh, five granddaughters and two grandsons. Mm -hmm. And I get um, just joy from them and seeing them um, come closer to Christ, them getting educate their education, um, being good mothers, um, so there's a lot of black joy to be had. <laughs> My black joy moment would be learning about where I come from. I'm a naturalized citizen and the daughter of a Nigerian man and a Jamaican woman, and so learning our history, even the rough parts, I never knew even with having family from Nigeria that we were a part of the slave trade. Learning I had European roots was something that definitely bothered me, but I think the beautiful thing about 
being black and especially black women is a natural resiliency that just exists in all of us in this magic. And so my black girl joy is knowing where I come from, wrestling with the hard parts of it and living to the fullest in the, in the most beautiful aspects of me.